Well, John, it's always a pleasure to see you and talk to you, and uh, we love you as Q, and uh, this game sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, it must have been fun to, to be part of that. Yes, and it's extraordinary, really, Bill, because these, these games now are almost as big an undertaking as the movies themselves. I mean, the, the, the guys on this game have devoted two to three years of their life getting this game right. And whereas up to now, the Bond video games have always been based on the movie that's just come out or is just coming out. This is an entirely separate one. This game does not exist as a movie. This, right. uh, this uh, particular um, villain, Diablo, played by Willem Dafoe, this it doesn't exist on the screen except in the video game. And the, the Bond girls, I think one of them is going to be in the next Bond movie. But that's Elizabeth right. Shannon and Meyer and Heidi Bloom, they're all, um, they're all here, Bond girls, in the game. Well, this is terrific. Yeah. i got to ask you, uh, how good a gamer are you? Do you like to play video games yourself? I kind of lost contact with video games when they started getting difficult about 15 years ago. I used to play with my older daughter back in the days when I could understand them. But i tell you something genuine. When I, when I saw this game, I thought this looks so much fun. Maybe I'll get my younger daughter, younger, she's now 20, to actually <laughs> teach me how to play this because... I, I just think they're, they're getting extraordinary. Yeah, they really are, absolutely. Well, you know, there's been a lot of talk. You will be back, I assume, speaking of the films, in the next, uh, in the next uh, Bond film, I believe. Well, I hope so. They're going to have to keep <laughs> me off the set with long pointed sticks, you know? Exactly. Well, the thing of it is, you know, there's been some talk that maybe Pierce won't be back. Uh, of course, he himself has said that, you know, at some point uh, it'll be time to move on. But what are your thoughts about, about that? He's certainly been one of the most successful. I think he has been the most successful uh, Bond, at least at the box office. Well, I think so. You see, I thought Sean was terrific when he started out. And I didn't think the, the, the following Bonds ever quite got close to, to Sean. And I thought Pierce was the first guy who was really up there with Sean. I think he's terrific. And he brings, you know, Sean had a wonderful danger to it. But Pierce has also got that elegance, because if you go back to the books, which are not half bad, you will find that Bond is an old Etonian. And that kind of, you know, suaveness, the soigne quality. I mean, Pierce has got that, I think, even more than Sean had. Absolutely. So, well, and you're, for and me, you're so he's actually the best Bond. I think he's terrific, and you're great as Q. I love it. Um, of course, all those gadgets. Uh, we've talked about this before. Uh, uh, have you gotten any uh, uh, handier, shall we say, uh, since we've last talked when it comes to uh, no, being no. around the house? We're all <laughs> hopeless. I mean, dear Desmond, uh, who, of course, uh, is no longer with us, he always yeah. said he was hopeless. A Pierce admits he's hopeless. I'm no good with gadgets at all. But in this particular, uh, in this new video game, They've got two gadgets which are great, a thing called a Q Rappel, which is, uh, enables Bond to walk up and down walls. And also a sort of spider, which is a camera that can precede Bond into various places where he doesn't want to go yet till he knows what's going in on there. And then a remote camera the spider sends back a picture to Bond so he can see what's going on there. So there's some uh, extraordinary new gadgets. Well, that sounds terrific. Can't wait to check that out. And also can't wait to see you in Shrek 2. That's going to be a lot of fun back uh, as Cameron Diaz's daddy. Yeah, well, I, 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 I uh, talked to Jeffrey Katzenberg last week, and he told me that they just uh, tried the movie, and 90% of, of two audiences, uh, one early evening, one later evening, 90% of them said it was as good as or better than the first Shrek, which is not bad going. I would say not. That's terrific. Well, it's great to see you, great to hear you, and uh, as always, a real pleasure, uh, John. I look forward to the next time. Good, and uh, good luck with the weather. Thank you. <laughs>